Hi, my name is Dr. Martin, and I teach medical history as well as women's history, among other topics, at the College of Brockport. And I want to show you this little box here that looks pretty innocuous until you open it up and you see all this wiring. Uh, and this is an electroconvulsive therapy machine, one that you would use at home. Uh, electroshock therapy would be another name for it, ECT. And these were invented in 1930 in Italy. And the purpose of these machines was to give people seizures and they found that those seizures would help people with mental health uh, problems, especially depression. And they felt that this was a gentler method uh, to help people rather than giving them really sort of extreme uh, chemicals, uh, pills that would do the same thing. So in the early years, it became very popular. This one is from the 1940s. This is a home model that somebody bought for themselves. But by the 1960s and 70s, when people were questioning authority and questioning medical knowledge, uh, a lot of people started turning against these and seeing them as sort of torture devices that would change your brain and make you somebody else. And that kind of imagery follows us in popular culture. The 1975 film, uh, One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, has a scene of sort of horrendous uh, use of uh, this kind of therapy. But by the 1990s, doctors realized that it really was a very use useful therapy and we still continue to use it today. But you may have had uh, a very negative view of this sorts of therapy just because of the popular culture that turned against it. So these are some of the things you would learn in a medical history uh, course at Brockport.